There's your ramp, big lady. Morning, chickens. Hey, bringing another build to the channel here. This is the, like the tractor, I guess, the absolute guaranteed not best mobile coupe design. This uh, this is my build here. I built it. It's capable of holding ducks, geese, chickens. Currently, it's in chicken mode, and this is a trailer design with a custom-built trailer. I had some extra tractor tires and I bought some steel rod and uh, built that on a frame and all you got to do you can either get whatever's cheapest I guess two by eights two by sixes build your frame out I dropped the tires down and you can see here see how I put it vertical and then and then horizontal so You'll, if you do put a lot of weight on this thing, it won't split. On the end there, I have some collars that you just tighten up with a uh, an Allen wrench, and it'll lock that uh, it'll lock that wheel in place. Over that steel rod, I put a greased cut piece of conduit to hold it tight in that position. But those tires. Those are, those are rear tractor tires for like a garden tractor. Um, with them being that wide, you can even drive it in wet ground and it won't, it won't sink or tear it up at all. But anyways, this is just a super solid frame built out of treated 2x6 or 2x8 steel rod axle uh, and garden tractor tires. Back up here now, we've got... Uh, it's an 8x8 dimension, so I've got 8 foot, eight foot walls on each side, 4 feet high. Um, I put two windows in it with some extra plexiglass I had, sealed it up down there with some silicone. It's got uh, galvanized steel roofing on the top here. Pretty low pitch, but it's good for rain. I built this. This is like all seasons capable. This was my goal here for year-round birds. And this is, this is uh, right now using it with our our free range flock of chickens so their needs are met it's off the ground it's it's pretty well i mean it's pretty airtight once you start closing up all these doors and accesses here but there's their roost bar in the back they got water they got some uh nesting boxes here the only addition i might make is i might i might later put put in a separate unit out here but this is actually working fine for now. I hung their water in there just so they don't kick as much stuff in it. But there's currently there's currently like 16 birds in here with a rooster. And it's working it's working pretty darn well. And there's there's various things you change based on what birds you're putting in here, but right now that is their ramp access right here on this door hatch. And then you just let them out there. All the other doors are closed when they're in. And then they all pour out here. And this side hatch here, like I said, was for the chickens. But if this, when we when we had waterfowl in here, um, this side access wasn't wasn't used for the birds to get in and out necessarily. It was used for me to come in, change their water tank out. I put this on here. You got eight foot. I had eight, eight foot panels left over that didn't fully cover this, but this actually works really well on those hot days. You can uh, you can just flip this up, and it ventilates through here. A lot of hot air and a lot of their a lot of their you know the ammonia and stuff that the chickens make. They it, it pours right out of here, and I'll show you a feature that vents from the bottom too in a minute. But to help with that, but then over here this. This main access door right here, this is just a piece of treated here. You just rest it in the slot, lock it in the top, and it fills that whole that whole access. And this is the access you would use if you had big geese or ducks using this, and then you put the ramp on this side and then they'd go up. But when you're using it in chicken mode here, this is actually 
how we get in and access taking care of the birds, going to the nesting boxes, etc. Because it's big enough for me to walk right in there. And I'm, I'm a pretty big boy. Uh, on the floor here, this is this is a uh, like this is a rubber mat for a garage floor, and it has that diamond plate design on the, on the top of it. I put it upside down, and it's waterproof, weatherproof. Everything's treated anyway. But I wanted slick, easy access to clean this thing out. I mean, you see, you just take a broom or a hoe, and that's what we're using a garden hoe right now, and you can just slide this thing right out. And then you just go out to the back here. And I put these hatches at the back and just quickly put a you know piece of paracord in here. You just pull these doors up, hang them up here, and then you just come right down here and you just pull. And then you just drop it right down on the ground. And since this is so mobile, there's usually not a bunch. I mean, this is just pine shavings I'm using with a little manure on it. Perfect for to build any soil, any garden, any lawn. So I just end up mowing right back over it and blow it all out, spread it all out. You never even know it's there in a week. I mean, super easy to clean up. Then you just close these up. You see they've got little locks on them when you slide them down. And they lock right up with these extra, with these extra pieces here. It means that the boards won't warp because they'll rest here here, here, while they're connected to hinges here and here. For the tongue, I used two by eights, and they actually had, uh, I think this is like a 6,000 pound hitch or something like that, but this was this was cheaper than the lighter weight one. So this this tongue is, that's a, that's a heavy gauge tongue right there, um, or tongue ball or whatever, latch. Anyways, so I balanced it, I mean, you can you can you can unhitch this and you can move this around with one hand on flat ground uh, but this tongue is just built into the frame underneath and it goes right there on the hitch like that plenty of room to back it around you can get it through tight corners and all that kind of stuff backing around with that that long a tongue on it back inside here I made sure that I put that uh, that weatherproof rubber up the edges a little bit just so it's so easy to clean out I mean there's been I mean I've, I've used this for I don't know six eight months now and they haven't they haven't ruined it yet and there has been a lot of birds in here and even different kinds I had meat birds in here uh, and now we've had this this latest batch we got our whole flock of free-range layers in here and all the mess that they make drops on this super slick uh, rubber mat here and you just and it all you know it just is absorbed by these shavings here and you can just slide it right out the back then you can see any any ventilation exposed areas here I put uh, that uh, what is that that hardware cloth on there so nothing's gonna get in here and it, all the doors lock and that's that's it for the inside but that's plenty of room for them to roost not only that but the roosting bar is towards the back so usually chickens prefer to make their waste at night when they're roosting so when they're on that bar they kind of just drop loads right along there and you usually don't even have to pick up too much up here so you just pull it right out the back and oh and then let's see here so in here what I did for ventilation purposes and for if you have geese, if you can see, look at this. I don't have a hard floor here. I have hardware cloth and I sunk, I dropped this down about five inches and this whole bottom is hardware cloth. So you can either use this to ventilate or if you have waterfowl in here, you have to give them water. What I did is I put... Um, I put uh, like a big water tray in this area and when they're undoubtedly going to splash it because ducks and geese do because um, they put their heads in there and then they shake it all the water would go around this perimeter here with this see with this hardware cloth and it would all splash straight on the ground or it would you know go through this but also in the summertime on those real hot hot weeks if you just make sure that you don't put 
uh, bedding in here. This has a lot of cool air come up in here, and then it once it warms up, it circulates it back out the top vents here. So you don't have your birds in here struggling and panting and all that kind of stuff. But like I said, I didn't have too many problems with that because we're currently doing free range, so they're only in here at night. But nonetheless, they can get pretty hot. But that is my mobile trailer fully custom because there's no trailer underneath there that's all built by myself that's the that's the trailer coop pretty pretty good design relatively cheap considering what it would take to buy enough existing stuff to make something that like that would work this well I mean I think maybe maybe I've got a thousand dollars into it or something like that and I had some stuff laying around too and that's kind of what that guided some of the decision making but boy this thing functions well it does a lot it's all seasons i mean the birds are gonna the birds will do fine in here in winter too it's off the ground you know for for the chickens and it gets pretty airtight i could even i could even cover cover these a little bit more they still need to ventilate in the winter time but they don't need it as much